To be the man, you gotta beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cut this shot. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. And I'm Brian Man. Yup, you sure yeah. are. <laughs> I'm Brian Man. We can leave it at that this time. Oh, you're a man of mystery this week. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this week we had the Superstar shakeup happen. We had some people move to Raw. We had some people move to SmackDown. Uh, I was say we had some people leave, but that was last week. That was Simon Gotch. Oh, yeah. But, uh, so Aiden, yeah. Aiden English jumped right on that with his little... He did! With, yeah. oh, with the spotlight thing? Yeah. That was fucking awesome! And then he started singing. And was That's like, okay. Uh, that's his heel thing. I guess. Who Just came like, out uh, and de- someone came out and destroyed him, though. Who was it? Uh, oh my god, someone, like, debuted. Was it, it was Ty Dillinger, wasn't it? Oh, that's who it was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, is that on here? The Ty Dillinger debuted? Uh, nope. no. Because he's still in, he was still on NXT, so I don't him, know. Him and Shinsuke are doing, like, a farewell tour. Him and Shinsuke in the Revival. Oh, okay. That makes sense, sort of. Yeah. Uh, so I guess they're just probably filling out the last of the shows for those guys. And they're trying to promote some some newer guys, like Oni Lorcan we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Formerly known as Biff Busick. Yeah. Uh, who, Which I think we both like, but he's just not a great character. We need, I don't know if we've even... I haven't seen a promo from him. I have no idea. Yeah. I don't, and I've... Caught up on NXT, sort of. I have watched the last three or four episodes. So, I mean, I, I've i seen his matches. The They're matches pushing are him. good. Yeah, two main events in a row. Yeah. So, you can't really ask for too much more. I like the name Biff Busick more. Do you? I, li- yeah. I, li- I like Oni Lorcan more. What is that? I don't know. It's, like, it's, it's so weird. <laughs> it's so, I don't know. I guess Finn Ballard, well, well, he explained it, but that's still a weird name. Yeah. Cassius Odo is a weird name. Yeah. And I, I guess like the weird names, I guess. Cassius Odo, I I mean, I wish he would have stayed Chris Hero. Yes. But I understand why he didn't. Yeah. In case anything happens, he can he'll still be Chris Hero, but Right. Uh you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look that name up. I don't know why I didn't do this beforehand. What's that? Oni and Lorkin. Oh, because, to see what it means? Yeah. Uh, yeah, go for it. Let's see, what is the name? Lorcan is an Irish name. Okay. Uh, I don't think he's Irish. I mean, at least not from there. Uh, yeah. I mean, if he is, he's not playing it up, which is okay, too. Yeah. And Oni, uh... I don't need Lorcan. That's not Irish. I don't know what the hell I just did. I don't know either. <laughs> um, I should edit that out. Oni is a city in France, I guess. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. I guess it's just the name we came up with. Doesn't seem to mean anything. Who the hell knows? Yeah. So, uh, joining Raw is at the top of the list there. Uh, I believe so. Yes, it is. We're going to skip that first one because it pisses me <coughs> off. <coughs> okay. The Miz and Maurice. Wait, did you watch SmackDown, though? I thought I did. God, it's been a long week. Okay, we'll, we'll get back to it. Okay. I know when I waited, I didn't. I, don't, I think I watched them on Thursday, and I still don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> All right, so Ms. and Maurice. Yeah, Dean Ambrose. Who? Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. He seems like he should be on Raw to me, but. Uh, Alexa Bliss, super happy about that. And we're yeah. gonna get to see like Alexa versus Bailey or Charlotte. Went, uh... Charlotte, uh, not Charlotte, but. Uh, so we're yeah. going to see Alexa versus Bailey, Alexa versus Charlotte, or Sasha. Yep. I'm super happy about that. Uh, Nia Jax, I think. Uh, yeah. Which I don't really... I don't know. I think Alexa Bliss is going to liven up the Raw women's division. Someone needs to. Her and the next one, yeah, Mickey, Mickey James, James. Who I think Mickey James is a badass, too. Yeah, absolutely. She is... Uh, she is the Chris Jericho of the women's division. She is the person that's there to be really inter- what? Mind blown. Yeah, that's perfect. No, that's true. <laughs> that's the perfect way to put it. <laughs> She's there to be really entertaining, really yeah. good in the ring, 
but is pretty much there just to put the women over. Yeah. That's what Jericho's here for. Like, yes. an established person comes in and just starts fighting. Yeah. And, I mean, that's great. That's right, so what she's there for. We need more of that in the women's division, I think. Yeah, and I remember back back in the day, she was probably my probably my favorite of the diva wrestlers. Yeah. Because she was the, one of the only ones that could actually and She went on to make wrestle. a real name for herself in TNA. Did she? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I think I remember. I don't. I didn't watch a lot of TNA. Yeah, I didn't either. But there were like there were bits of it, like her, like Bobby Roode, like Matt Morgan, that were really good and worth watching. Oh, okay. Oh, you know who? I'm surprised is not on WWE. Who's that? For the women's division, I haven't seen a lot of her, but I remember that she was really good. I'm surprised they haven't acquired Gail Kim. I, I was just about to say Gail Kim with the other people that I was saying was worth watching. Yeah. Good God, she's good. I know she's good. and I I'm hope just, she's in the women's tournament. Oh, that would be interesting. I forgot about that. I don't know if she's wrestling much anymore. You know who her husband is, right? No. Robert Irvine, the chef. Uh, Restaurant Impossible. The big uh, Jack British dude. I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh, he's like super famous chef. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know that she has to work a lot. Probably not. I'm but not really sure what she's up to. She, But she might do the tournament. Yeah. She's one of my favorites. I mean, Tajiri came back for the tournament, and he's... I don't know if he's still wrestling. I mean, what, I think just because they're both, like, Asian? No. <laughs> 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 I like that connection you made there. No, I was talking about... both leave their homeland in Asia. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Because they're from the same... Time period. And a in racism. <laughs> oh. I didn't even. That was. Good I didn't job. even put two and two together Good job. there. All right, but if I did, on. I would know let's it was. Let's move on before you dig this hole more. I was about to shove that shovel in there. Jeez. All right, so the next ones. They got kids. They got kids. Now that they're on Raw, according to somebody, now they might be able to avoid an in ground pool. Oh, hell yeah. Someone said that when they were announcing that they were on Raw. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you don't them. know, it's Heath Slater and Rhino. How do you not know? Oh, you're, you're a terrible person if you don't know. <laughs> oh. Because uh, they got kids. God, yeah, that's right. Kids. Kalisto? I love Kalisto. They just haven't done anything with them. Oh, uh, I hope they will now. And I'm, I'm glad that they separated the two. Surprise. Can I just say... Dean is still Intercontinental Champion, right? Yes. Is the U.S. Championship going to SmackDown? Okay, so you must not have watched SmackDown. Oh, did I miss? Okay, we'll get I to it when something. we get there. Okay. Yeah, I, I think you missed a couple. So they swap times. titles. Um. Yes. Can I just say, fucking take the belt away from Dean? He doesn't care. Yeah, doesn't I think we talked fucking about this. Care. Either that, or we talked about this off of. I don't remember. But, like, look, look. Oh, stream? Kalisto, Apollo Crews, Kurt Hawkins, The Miz, who made the belt incredible. I'm sure there's plenty of other guys on Raw who would love it. Just give it to the young guys. That's what I say. Let the young guys fight over that belt. Not the guy who's just going to carry it around. And I don't think it's Dean's fault. Maybe not. Probably not. But, you know, they're just, him and Corbin are just kind of fighting. The belt just happened to be there. Right. So let them duke it out. Let them murder each other and let someone else take the belt. Well, what if Corbin wins the belt? Would it still doesn't matter because Corbin doesn't seem interested in it. Uh, he just wants to beat up Dean. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Like, that sucks. Yeah. Because the Intercontinental Championship, like, oh, again, that fucking Miz promo had, I have been Intercontinental Champion for whatever days and... This is the longest reigning Intercontinental Championship run. Like, I fucking loved that promo. He just yeah. loses his shit. Yeah. Loved it. He should have been Intercontinental Champion forever. As far as I'm concerned. As far as you're concerned. <laughs> I love The Miz. I hate The Miz. I love this incantation of The Miz. Absolutely. Incarnation. Incantation <laughs> when a body <laughs> is summoned by the uh, devil. <laughs> I know the, the new Miz incantation is Cena sucks, right? <laughs> Oh, right. That's what summons him. Gotcha. That makes sense. Uh, 
So yeah, we have Apollo Crews and Kurt Hawkins also going over to Raw. I hope to see more out of Apollo Crews because he's yeah. so good. He is so good. So. And Kurt Hawkins is a guy who's, again, he's a Mickey James. He's a Chris Jericho. Maybe not quite on the level of Chris Jericho. I don't think so. He's an established, entertaining guy who just sort of put guys over. I don't even think he's that established. In his character and in his moveset and everything, he is. Maybe. That's why guys like him and Jinder Mahal are here. And to be more concussions. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. But Kurt Hawkins, wasn't he one of the Edgeheads? Yeah. That's all I know him. And then he went on to be Kurt Hawkins, and then he had a pretty successful uh, indie run. Okay. Well, all I know him as is an edge hat. Which isn't bad. I yeah. Mean, I have... I mean, I'm not... You know, he's not, like, a super important dude. He's just a... Uh, I mean, I would guess glorified jobber is the word for it. He's yeah. a really entertaining yeah. jobber. He's not just a, a guy. Right. It, <clears throat> beating him means more than... But you said, like, Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal is, like, not... He's not established is he he's brand new right no he was around for a while before i do not remember him yeah at all oh <laughs> <clears throat> i was like when he said gender Mahal, i was like he's, i thought he just skipped an xt somehow and just no, showed up he, on... he's really good other than david Penn's yeah uh, <laughs> um and then finally we have david otunga joining the announced team but right. i guess that is being delayed by <laughs> six weeks because he's going to film a movie and uh, Booker T is going to fill in for him. Oh, cool. So I didn't catch that. They're going to give good. this young guy, this Booker T. Who is this again? I'm not sure. Uh, he books matches, I think, and he drinks sweet tea. Sweet tea. Yeah. Uh, I think that's his gimmick. Okay. They're going to give this young guy a shot at filling like David Otunga's really big shoes. Um, huh. Really quiet big shoes. He drinks sweet tea. I have a feeling that he... Uh, he how many sugars he likes in the sweet tea? I think it's five, five. times. Five, five times. times. Five, to- five <laughs> times. And then you just give it a good, good spin. A good, a good little spin a with the yeah. spin Yes, yeah, exactly. Spin a Rooney. That's a good All term right. for it. Yeah. I, like, I can't wait to see this guy announce. I, he sounds like he's going to be pretty good. Shuggy, ducky, quack, quack. <laughs> so that's what we have joining Raw. Oh, well, we got to talk about the first one. Yes, we got to go back to the first one. Because I think you missed something with the first one as well. But uh, I do like his debut on Raw. That got me very excited. Did you see that? Did I miss all of this? You did not watch wrestling this week. I had a really usually, busy week. I usually thought I sat I down and watched it. Usually, I don't watch it. I want you to see it. I don't even want to tell you. because well, I you have was, to tell me? Oh, I was so excited. So. Is it short? Can we just pull it up? It's pretty short. Okay, pull it up. <clears throat> we'll, we'll watch it. All right. just, just lower the volume so it doesn't murder the microphone. All right, let me see what I can do. So, but Bray Wyatt being on Raw just nullifies this whole freaking story that he's got with Randy. Well, sort of. Okay. Here we go. Bray Wyatt invites Randy Orton into his house of horror. Go ahead and click on it. Uh, is that it? Is that the one I'm looking Five for? Five days ago? Yeah. Creepy. I don't know if this is the one I'm looking for or not. I haven't seen this. Look who he's who's look who's in the this ring. Is my new home now. Oh but I didn't come to Monday Night Raw and some had it uh Finn Balor. I came with a very, very, very special gift. A gift of payback. Because in three weeks time. The entire world will be able to watch me torture Randy Orton in my very own Hell yeah. House of Horrors match. See, the match is still going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. I figured that. Which I think payback's going to be a giant kerfuffle. Yeah. But. Oh my god. Monday Night Raw. I'm here. I'm here. Um, all right. So, so he debuted again. Uh, 
cut a short little promo at the end there on Finn Balor. Yeah. Balor versus Wyatt. All right. I will definitely want to see that. Yeah. So, totally worth it. So, we're going to get the blow-off match to Randy's winning. I mean, that's the only thing that sucks about that. We know he's winning. Or... WWE is not disinterested. He, he's Calm winning. down. He's winning. <laughs> She's... Calm, calm your tits. I don't see how... But I would hate to see Bray Wyatt lose the house. In his own Bray. match? Yeah. That's, that's just... The, that's the way the shit works. <laughs> the way the cookie crumbles. Fucking way she goes, boys. Oh. So... Yeah, I, okay, so I'm excited about that now. I'm glad that we're at least going to get White versus Balor. That's awesome. Yeah. It's still not going to start for four weeks. Yeah. But, uh, so then we got joining SmackDown, Kevin Owens. Yes. Cool. Now, now I'm okay with this, except for the shaving of the face. A little disappointed. Yeah, Kim's not happy about that. No. Uh, he looks a little, a little less intimidating. He does. But I do like how he is the face of America. Oh, yeah. Okay, is, so I didn't miss this, but I heard about yeah, it. Yeah, he is the face of the United States. I love That's it. That's funny. I love it. Being from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, I believe. Yeah. Somebody else has done a gimmick like this before. I mean, they do it all the time, but I still yeah. love it. I love that Kevin Owens is doing it. Yes, absolutely. Um, And as far as his title goes... The title stays on SmackDown. Owens may not. Oh, shit. The winner at Payback... Oh, for Christ's sake, really? ...is going to be... Whoever wins the title goes to SmackDown. Oh, okay. So Jericho okay. might go to SmackDown. Owens may actually stay on Raw. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's... Makes that match double interesting. Yeah. Cool. Um, I like that. And I just want to... Uh, we're gonna skip down here. Uh, yes. but when I saw Sami Zayn show up in SmackDown Two, I was sitting in my living room chanting "Fight Forever." <laughs> that was that. That was a small message from WWE saying we get it. Yeah, definitely. We get it. We got you. We know what you want. And then I went on um, so I saw someone in the crowd wearing the "Fight Forever" shirt. Yeah, that was the first I saw it. I was like, "Oh, I want that." And I went on the website. It was on clearance. They had, like, a medium left. Yeah. A couple mediums left. I'm like, damn it. Yeah, that, I think, because my reaction to him going to SmackDown was like, oh, well, now it's going to be a while before we get Sammy versus Kevin. Yeah. That sucks, but, you know, hopefully we'll get it eventually. Oh! Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy's decided that he's going to follow the fucker. <laughs> yeah. And he's got cool new tights, by the way. I just want to throw that out. Did he? Sammy's tights are pretty bad. He, he was running down to the ring and kicking Kevin in the face. And really <laughs> so I'm excited. I still haven't opened that Sammy Zayn Elite figure I just picked up, by the way. Okay. So we're going to do a video on all your wrestling figures here soon. That'll be fun. That, that'll take a while. Uh, wrestling figures, not so much. If we did a whole collection, it would. Yeah. Wrestling figures, I probably have less than 50. Okay. So. But sure. they're good ones. <laughs> um, we got Charlotte Flair joining SmackDown. Did you see how that was done? Yes. Okay, so you did see that. She, she's a legend. She, her yeah. father is a Hall of Famer. Tamina! Which I thought was really mean. It was. Super that's, degrading to Tamina. Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> Tamina's really good. I don't think I've seen her wrestle. She's better than Nia Jax. And I love Nia Jax. I don't think Nia Jax is that good, so it's not saying a whole lot. Tamina's like a legit badass. And I, I think she just came back from a major injury. And ah. I, I hope that they Tamina uses that. You know, like, oh, you think that I'm not as good as Charlotte. Watch me murder Char Charlotte. Oh, that could set up for that. I hope. that Because otherwise, that's just really shitty oh yeah yeah it was not cool but uh, yeah I'm super happy about Tamina yeah I think she's gonna shake things up I wanna see her matches um she's worth looking into I wanna see her beat the hell out of Charlotte now although I have to say I cheer since Wrestlemania but I love it oh yeah the Peacock 
gear. I think they keep their gear for a little bit after WrestleMania. <coughs> no one else is wearing the WrestleMania gear. Hmm. WrestleMania gear is usually like a one and done kind of thing. It's usually it's pretty special. Well, and she's <laughs> pretty special, like a peacock. So <laughs> I guess she's just gonna keep it. Or maybe they're hinting that Dalton Castle can show up. And, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, it's not happening. I think he's he's doing something with the six man. I don't know. I have to go back and watch it. So uh, we've also got the New Day joining SmackDown. I'm shake sur- up the tag team division. I'm surprised that New Day actually didn't appear. Yeah, I was just did a little vignette. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh, New Day's here." All right. They could have been off doing promotional things, or that's true. They also, I think, the SmackDown's tag team division just isn't as good as Raw's. And they're just not all that invested in it. And they just, they have a lot of, a lot of teams, but yeah, they're not that good. Which, by the way, I, I was thinking about this the other day. We were saying how much it was, it was shit that at WrestleMania we didn't get a SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. I wonder, did they do that because you're going to have the Hardys and all of them in a ladder match. It's going to be fucking incredible. And then you're going to have what? The Usos? Usos versus American Alpha. Yeah, which we had on SmackDown. Yeah, yeah. That put that before or after the Hardys. Yeah. Those four guys are gonna feel like shit. Oh yeah. What do you do for their match to make it super special? I don't know. Bring back freaking Road Warriors. Like <laughs> I don't yeah, know. I don't I know. know who you bring back. I don't know what kind of match you make. I don't know. Fuck it. Don't put it on the show. Yeah, that's probably what happened. I, who, I who, feel like who could they have brought in? Who? 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 <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't really get that either, but that's all right. I don't. You, New Day, you don't have to get. You don't have to understand New Day. They're just fun. They're the best. <laughs> um, Did you see the New Day special edition tag team belts? No. It was, it was, I'm on Etsy scoops. You find it. It was towards the top. Uh, but we've also got uh, Rusev and Lana joining. Cool. Lana's doing like a ravishing gimmick. Yeah, just look up uh, New Day special edition belts. I think they're gone. From where they to order? No. No, they're on WWE. Oh, I don't know if it was like a product. Yeah, replica title belt. There you go. Let's see. $483. Whew. Oh, it was just one belt too. Holy crap. Hey, those are cool though. Yeah, they are. It's, uh, like, blue. Yeah, we should probably describe what it looks like. <laughs> and an owl What there. is that? Oh, was it a hoo 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 thing? <laughs> probably. There There's a pretty, uh, cool-looking owl. It's just, it's their, their signature blue, yellow, and red with the yellow red stripes all over the place. Yeah, paint splatters, oh stars. God. Same it place. It's as fuck in the best ways. Yeah. The New Day. The New Day. Uh, same copper color plates, penny looking plates. Now I feel like the New Day going to SmackDown. Now they need to win the tag team titles and have these. Oh yeah, definitely. Because the tag team, the SmackDown belts are already blue. That one's blue. Yeah, but the their plates are silver. SmackDown oh, you're plates are silver. Sets. I would love to see this with silver plates. That would yeah. be. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't do both. And uh, uh, it's sold oh, out. Sold out. I wonder how many they made. I wonder if it says. Uh, well, it'll be back in stock in two to three weeks. Oh, I'd like one. I'm not gonna pay for that. No, I was gonna say you're gonna pay five hundred bucks for it. <laughs> no, I do. I really do plan on getting a replica belt soon. I do really want to get a box of Budios. I uh, I saw that in the mall, not our mall. Is it like fifty bucks? I think it was like thirty. It's a T-shirt inside. Yeah. So it's not that bad. It's a T-shirt and cereal. Yeah. It's, uh, it's still too much. Yeah. It's it's funny as hell, though. It is funny. I don't know. I might get it. Probably not. I'd like to get a giant box of Budios. The giant ones. I, w- I want the New Day action figures in those white Super Saiyan outfits they had. That's never going to happen. Never. I no. can get them custom. I can make them custom. No, so you can make that. <clears throat> or, have them com- or commission them out, which I'd rather do for something like that. But Commission figures are expensive. Anyway. So, yeah, we have uh, Rusev and Lana, which I, I don't didn't know they really said Rusev for sure. Yeah, I saw the Rusev thing. 
Because I was like, I haven't seen Rusev in years. So. <laughs> that way. Alana uh, got like a ravishing uh, vignette, which is yeah. kind of cool. So it's almost like she might be her own thing now. Maybe. I think she's, a, she's supposed to be a pretty good wrestler. If I, remember correctly. I don't think I've seen her wrestle at all, but I mean, she might be. I don't... She has wrestled. I know that. I just can't remember when. Oh, really? Well, that, I mean, that's cool. Uh, Jinder Mahal joined SmackDown. Yeah, get him away from Finn Balor. We'll talk yeah. about that later. Uh, the Shining Stars. What are what are they? What are they doing? I think it's Epico and Hunico. Epico no, it's Remo and, and Epico. Yeah. Some kind of co. What? Carlito's cousins. They were Los Matadores. Okay. Yeah, they they can't figure out their gimmick. They're still terrible. They're not though. They're just, their gimmicks are terrible. I mean, the guy has a mustache wearing jeans, and the other guy doesn't have a mustache and he wears jeans? I, I don't I don't know. get it. <laughs> those guys are really, really good, though. Like, those those wrestlers. I wasn't too impressed. I don't remember who they were wrestling. Oh, they were in, like, a giant, like, 20-people tag match, so they didn't get to do much anyway. But well, what's really funny to me is... They did well as Primo and Epico. They didn't do great, but they did well. They did win the championships. And then it was like, WWE was like, well, this is working. Let's change it. We're going to make you Matadors. Okay, I've seen the action figures for them. I never saw them. And now they're the shining stars. They're like trying to get people to go to Cuba. No, the Caribbean, just the Caribbean. Like travel agents? Yes. Like, Like the gnome? Trying to persuade various superstars to purchase timeshares to their Puerto Rican resort. That is the worst gimmick I've heard in my life. Timeshare yeah. salesman? Yeah. That's their gimmick. That's it. Guys. And they are good promos, and they are good wrestlers. I don't know what these two guys did. I don't know who they pissed off. But it's a bit ridiculous. Must have pissed in Triple H's Cheerios or something. Yeah. Sold them a bad timeshare and now it's their gimmick. <laughs> I don't know. That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard. And then we got Byron Saxton joining the announced team, switching with David Otunga. So, right. that's cool. Yeah. I don't, I don't like him very much either. I don't like a lot of people. I feel like they just need to go back to the... We talked about this before. The two band announced teams. <clears throat> need to yes. be Graves and Ross. I just <laughs> want that. Yeah. And uh, 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 Lawler, Mauro, and Allo. That would be interesting. I mean, you're never going to get better than JR and the King together. Yeah, which you could do on Raw. Oh, and, yeah. And then give Graves and Ronaldo SmackDown. Yeah. I think either way you'd have a winning combination. Yeah. But I, I still think... Fuck ABL. <laughs> just just get him the fuck out of there. And then, like, I'm fine with Byron Jackson and all these other guys. And Tom Phillips is really good. He's not on WWE anymore, but Matt Stryker is a great commentator. Yeah. Isn't he for Lucha? He's or? on Lucha Underground yeah, with, with Vampiro fine. right now. Leave Man. him there. Yeah, I mean, they, they need good, uh, yeah. good announcing team. I'm just saying, because I think... I think it was him and JR who did Wrestle Kingdom 10. Yeah, or was it Josh Matthews? I don't think it was Josh Matthews. I don't remember. You know who does remember? Who? Google remembers. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, I didn't know John, Josh Matthews was on TNA. I saw he might be fired. I don't know. It's yeah, TNA. who cares? It's TNA. Was that no. Wrestle Kingdom 9 or 10? I don't remember. I had 11 on the brain. I like that you're using your little phone when you have a big screen TV with a computer right in front of you. Yep, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> the computer would be faster. Uh, okay, it was 10. I'm looking okay. at the um, production. 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 Do, 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 do. Looking, looking, looking. Okay. Uh, Kevin Kelly, Matt Stryker. That, that's not what we watched. Um, I don't know. It's not that important. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. So then we got, what, what's next on the docket here? 
Oh, yeah. this thing we've been mentioning a hundred thousand times. <laughs> this is really depressing. Finn Balor's <clears throat> injured again. Yep. Out with a concussion. Poor bastard. God. Like, that's got to be, like, the worst... The, not the worst news to deliver to a wrestler is like, hey, you're back, and you're hurt again, and we have to... It's only four weeks, though. But I guess he just got, he got hit real hard by a, a forearm from Jinder Mahal. Oh, wait. This is no word on how long he'll be out of that. I, mean, I saw a follow-up to this that said four weeks. Oh, okay. Concussions can sometimes not be all that bad. Yeah. He may not even have a concussion, and maybe just he needs to take it easy, pretty much. Yeah, it was the whole um, football concussion thing. Yeah, they're, they're probably taking it pretty serious. But maybe we can still get him doing promos with uh, with Bray. Yeah, getting some. I mean, he's probably not gonna have a match with Bray until after payback. So. Well, yeah, that wasn't gonna happen anyways because it's with Randy. Yeah. So yeah, this is fine. Mm-hmm. Maybe Finn can do some shit to mess with them. Some magical shit. Bray yeah. can do some magical shit to mess with Finn. We'll have the match of payback with Randy, do another week of magical shit, and then they can actually get physical. Speaking of magical shit, do you remember the entrance that Finn Balor did where there were multiple Finn Balors? Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. I that can't was... wait to see his WrestleMania entrance. Oh, They're going to do such so a good cool. job with it. They better. Well, it, it's Triple H's baby. Oh, that's true, yeah. And look at Triple H's entrance every fucking year. Oh, Triple H is going to be like, I'm handing the torch to you, buddy. Every <laughs> year, you're going to have an over-the-top amazing entrance. I hope it's him. There's going to be dragons. Something. <laughs> like real dragons. Like real demons. Yeah. Like. <laughs> oh, Triple H is going to get in contact with... They need to have a sponsorship from Bethesda and have the Doom guy walk Finn Balor to the ring. From Doom... Oh, the Space uh, Marine guy? Yeah. <laughs> that that would be incredible. Or have Finn Balor kill him. <laughs> Just rip him to pieces and a blood fly over the WrestleMania. That's not going to happen. Nope. Yeah, this is sad, but, you know, at least it's not, like, as bad as before. Yeah, it's not his shoulder injury that put him out for approximately eight months. Good Lord. Sounds like I know what I'm talking about, but I'm just reading that. Yep, just reading. <laughs> All right, so what's next? Uh, oh yeah, I don't get this. Go down some. Yeah, this I just kind of wanted to see. Um, what does this say? Worldwide. I don't know what that is. Like a thunderbolt in the sea. Um. Oh, on the Jinder Mahal shirt. Yeah. Um. Balor took to Twitter and sent the following tweet to Mahal. Um. Hashtag Fit Friday. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. That's the um, the idea behind the logo on the shirt is the the Balor Club shirt. Yeah. I don't. I don't think the Balor Club shirt says worldwide on top of it. I don't know. I don't get it. Unless they're talking. Unless he's talking about prestige worldwide with boats and hoes, but I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> From Step Brothers. Oh. Yeah, that's... I, I don't get that. Somebody yeah. tell us in the comments what the hell that means. Yeah, I don't... Like I said, I don't think that's what a shirt actually says. But... Uh, then the Big E is officiating weddings? Yeah, sure. Alright, I mean, if that's what they want. I'd do it. S- says he's an ordained minister. I think that was kind of the original idea behind the New Day. Was there like a Baptist church group? I guess. You have certainly seen it that way. That's what I took it as. I thought it was great. I thought that was an incredible game. People hated it. People thought it was racist. Well, I mean, maybe. But, you know. I think a lot of wrestling gimmicks are racist in a way. Well, yeah. I mean. I mean, look at Jinder Mahal. He wears a turban and all that stuff. Yeah. You could probably label that as racist. I mean, when the Usos came out and did the haka, which is the war dance thing. I mean, it, everyone's offended at everything is the point. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I think the Baptist church group was a great idea. Yeah. And maybe he is an ordained minister. That's where they came up with it. I mean, he has to be if he's going to be officiating weddings. But right. Good for him. 
This I I I couldn't wait to talk about this. This was I watched this. This that we're about to talk about is what drew me into watching Raw because <clears throat> I saw this clip and I was like, What, what I did saw I miss? Was Braun Strowman lifting an ambulance? Yes. It's just like, oh, what? <laughs> like, yeah. So Braun beat the hell out of Roman. They tried getting him out of the arena. He was just tired of listening to him. He's like, his promo was going on for more than 30 seconds. I got to shut this guy up. Great. Yeah. Go Braun. And he brushes in and just beats the living hell out of him. I mean, they're kind of making Braun a, a baby face. Yeah. I don't know if that's what they're trying to do. Uh, no. Not but, at all. But, uh, yeah, he put Roman Reigns in the, in the EMS. Well, and then... I, I liked when... He, Oh, he kept coming back. Yeah. <clears throat> they had him on the stretcher. Then he pushes the stretcher off of the ledge, off yes. the loading dock. And Roman would have landed on his face with the weight yeah. of the stretcher. And he had his arms strapped yeah. to his side. He was strapped in. I think there may have been a little smoke and mirrors there. I but, don't know. And there alive. had to have been. Or Braun pushed it, and it felt like that. He went, ah, <laughs> or yeah, or he's like, oh no. <laughs> so did Roman. <laughs> right, if you if you listen real close, you can hear Roman go, ah, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I think he landed just on his face, on his chest. I don't know. Yeah, there, Kimberly said the same thing though. She's like, that's fake. There, that didn't really happen. Yeah, because there was no way that was a far fall. Two yeah. things could have happened here because it is live. Um, either it's not live and we just saw a video edited. Right, yeah. Very Any, possible. Anything backstage. Yes. I mean, they could play it live. They can play the recording live. The second thing that could have happened that I like to imagine happened is what we just talked about. <laughs> <laughs> Braun was supposed to push him off and or, land wheels first, but it decided to go the other way. I like to think that, but there is a third option where they did where they were recording and they did do some almost literal smoke and mirror thing where they somewhere someone working for the WWE has to know some magic inside tricks. Sure. Just, magician? Yeah, just sure. like uh, like Chris Angel levitating. He, they easily could have swapped those out in that split second where the camera was going around the corner. Yeah. That's what I really feel happened. Could have been. And then the flip of the ambulance once he got, once he was Obviously put in Obviously movie magic. Yeah. But still cool as hell. And I, I watched it a couple of times trying to figure it out. I mean, you do see shadow of people jumping out, of, or probably Roman, jumping out of the back and running. Like you can see his shadow of some feet back there. I'd be willing to bet directly on the other side of this EMS is some kind of machine pulling it down. Oh, that yeah. you can't see. But I looked for shadows because there's a lot of shadows going on. Or there's something on this edge, because there is an edge of the ambulance you Yeah, but I think see. you can see it before that. Probably. <clears throat> Once again, more more smoke and mirrors. It's magic tricks. Just, gimmicks. It's so cool. This yeah. is what we need to get in wrestling. Yeah. Can Braun Strowman lift an EMS? No, don't be a fucking moron. <laughs> yeah. Can Braun Strowman, the character, do it? Fuck yeah. Exactly. That's all we need. We just need to believe. Which leads to people like me and you going, uh, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> Clicking on that YouTube video. Yeah. And going, okay, I need to watch this again. I'm going to go watch Raw when I get home. That's, <laughs> what, that's exactly what, what I did. That this is what they need. Yeah. And it involves Roman, which is great Fun. because that's the guy they want to be their top guy. For some reason. But that's okay because I don't want to hate him. Yeah, we've talked this topic to yeah. death. Yeah. Hey, Hal, you did your own own. That's show right. On a it. Bit of rants. So, all right, we did that one, and we talked about that one. Yep. Kurt Angle said it on Roman Reigns, if the fans don't accept him, then turn him heel. All right, so we're gonna talk about what we just said. We're gonna finish talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Angle. Pull this up. Uh. So I mean, he's got a point. I mean, if no one is going to like Reigns, make people hate Reigns. Which isn't going to be hard, because they already do. Yeah. Apparently he said half the fans love him and half the fans hate him. I 
have not seen the half that love them. Yeah, they're not as vocal as Cena's fans. <laughs> no. I've seen one person who loves him. Who? Just someone I know. Like, oh, right. Mean, actually, it's the lady I made the wrestling figure for. Oh, okay. I know Jess thinks he's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I don't, but I don't count that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I... Again, I don't want to hate Roman either, but... We just... I hope Braun Strowman killing him with EMF he goes away for a while. Maybe if he bounces look. right back onto Raw, that's so stupid. Yeah, it's so stupid. I have a bad feeling he's gonna be opening Raw. Yeah, no crutches, nothing. Like he's just gonna be in the middle of the ring with his mic. You his thought you could beat me up. You thought you could drop a EMS on me, but no. But I'm the Superman. Isn't that his thing? <coughs> that's no. I don't no. think so. I don't know. Superman punch. <laughs> yeah, he needs to go away for a little while. And sometimes guys need to do that. Look at, you know, back when Cena was really hot, he got injured. And when he came back at that Royal Rumble, they, he got the loudest crowd reaction I've ever heard. Yeah. Which I, I don't know if you've seen that, because that's when we weren't watching wrestling. Wait, when was it? When did he come it back? Was, it was a Royal Rumble, and like... I can't remember exactly how they... I think his music hit. And he was doing his stance and looking down and then looked up and the crowd just oh. lost it. Maybe I didn't see that. We'll have to look that up here in a minute. Yeah. But do you also see where uh, Kurt Angle's favorite member of the rosters... Oh, uh, yeah. Cesaro, Kevin Owens, Dolph Ziggler, Seth Rollins, and Chad Gable. And Chad motherfucking Gable. Which, of course, Chad Gable's going to be his favorite. Yeah. Because he's racist and doesn't like Jason Jordan, apparently. <laughs> Why did he just say American Alpha? Yeah. Well, maybe he just... Maybe he doesn't like Jason Jordan's as good as Chad Gable. Uh, but I like seeing Cesaro and Kevin Owens on there. That's yeah, cool. absolutely. What we got next? Something that starts with the letter D. Oh, yeah. So, this is kind of shitty. Should have put the shitty news together. Yeah. Or maybe not. We'll break it up a little bit. Um, so apparently, Mauro Ronaldo has got to settle with the WWE, and he's just not going to talk about all the shit that happened. That's yeah, that's, really sad. that sucks. His current contract expires on August 12th. That's it's coming up. Yeah. That, that's a shame, man, that, that, that this is it for Mauro. Like, that's, that's what it seems like. How long has he been here? Does it say? Uh, First appeared on SmackDown at the beginning of 2016. So yeah, it's been like more little more than a year. Yeah, he's he's good. Yeah, people universally love him. No, not universally. I've seen some hate for him, but uh, he's great. He's something different. But he'll be fine. He'll go back to the UFC. He'll yeah. right. It's just too bad. Yep. Knowledgeable. I like that. But So this is uh, a little more in my realm. Right. Because I've got the YouTube channel. It's a little, uh, what I think they like to call a uh, little inside baseball. Yeah. Which I'm... Well, uh, could you go down some? Yeah. Let's, uh... I want to see... So apparently YouTube has, I'm, I'm assuming is just a blanket decision. Uh, wrestling is not advertiser friendly. And it's put wrestling videos into restricted mode. So this means that, and you can get our podcast on YouTube at the Few True Villains uh, YouTube page. They're all monetized. Uh, but the problem is, they're monetized, but you're not going to get ads played on them, which means that the videos won't make any money. Yeah, so it doesn't make any sense. And they didn't tell anybody they were going to do this. We've now figured it out. And now wrestling videos, just wrestling videos in general, even if you're just talking about it, not advertiser-friendly. That That's really stupid. 
Yeah, I don't think it's just wrestling going through this either. It's not at all. There's a lot of uh, news stuff, a lot of political stuff. It's a lot of people are getting hit with this. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Channels. I'm trying to find it right now. One of the action figure guys. I I really I really used to watch this stuff all the time. Not so much anymore. Uh, is it like, a wrestling thing? Uh, no, it's not wrestling. It's uh, well, he reviewed all kinds of figures. Right. And uh, he was saying something about the uh, ads and stuff on his videos. Right. I don't. I don't know if they necessarily took them off or like they changed them or something. That's probably it. They they are still monetized, but they're not getting ads on them for whatever reason. And the worst part is they don't say, "Well, it's because of this." Now, guys like uh, Funhouse and Philip DeFranco, I think, are finding out we're taking your ads off because of this. Me and you can't call YouTube. Right. <laughs> like, they so don't care no about idea. me. This is very unfortunate that they're doing this to people, especially just a blanket thing to wrestling channels, because you got a lot of guys out there who make a decent amount of money from this. Uh, luckily, guys like What Culture Pro Wrestling, they have their own indie promotion, they have their own website where they, it's like a Rooster Teeth thing where you pay a fee and you get a bunch of extra content, they got merch, right. they're fine. And they've right. also got What Culture Gaming and the other one that's just like nerdy stuff. They're going to be fine. They're a network. Yeah. These smaller channels are fucked. Yeah. And I just found the post. That's not what he was talking about. Okay. He was just saying he wished, he wished they wouldn't put uh, beer ads before his videos. Oh, okay. Because his, he reviews action figures and most of his yeah. wa- viewers He's are not younger. supposed to market alcohol towards children. Yeah. So. That's interesting. Huh. But Why don't they get away with that on YouTube? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because he says his videos are for like 12 to 50 kind of thing. Could be. They're like, well, we're just going to advertise to this age range. So if your YouTube channel, eh. Yeah. And, I mean, the stuff he reviews, I mean, then the reason I kind of stopped watching him was he is reviewing like six, $700 action figures. Ah, okay. So they're more collectibles than yeah. uh, toys. Even though the brand is called Hot Toys. Huh. So still got to pay for it. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's unfortunate. So that, yeah, that, that's not cool. What we got up next? Um, I believe that was the last one. Yeah. And we just watched uh, the Hardys versus the Young Bucks from and Lakeland. From Lakeland that we should have gone to. Yes. That was a pretty awesome match. I still don't know where all the tables came from. I don't know. But I'm glad they were there. I'm pretty sure they were glad they were there. So I know yeah. we see people go through tables and we're like, oh, we went through a table. I wonder but, if it breaks your fall that uh, much because it looks like it just kind of breaks. Yeah, but it still slows you down a little bit before you hit the ground. And I'm sure there's no good way to do it. I feel like it'd be just like going through real thin cardboard. Or like styrofoam, rather. Like, it just yeah. it wouldn't break your fall. Yeah, I don't maybe. Know. But that was a hell of a match. Yeah. Uh, Did you have anything you wanted to bring up? Um, no, I think we covered it. I really wanted to talk about Oni Zorkin for a second. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else did I see really recently? I think there was something ROH related. Uh, ROH is doing all kinds of stuff right now. Yeah. And it's hard to keep up with. Yeah. They need to fix that. Ring of Honor, get your... Yeah, please bring us an app or something, or your own app. Yeah. Everyone has their own app nowadays. Yeah, why? Yeah. We should probably get our own app. We should get our own app? No. No? I don't. Apparently it's super expensive. I could probably do it. They got enough shit going on with the <laughs> website. And SoundCloud. And I, no. I'm not doing an app. Yeah, I don't blame you. Ring O Honor? Ring O Honor. Honor. Ring of Fire? No. Ring of Honor. Speaking of Ring of Fire, I've been listening to a lot of Johnny Cash recently. Have you? Yep. Oh, God, they're on clearance. Everything's on clearance. Let's see. Uh, news. Christopher Daniels will defend his Ring of Honor World Championship against Matt Taven. I didn't know Matt Taven was still around. I'm not sure who Matt Taven is. I'm not really sure why I just read that. Uh, oh, you wanted to mention that uh, 
Matt Morgan and Chris Masters debuted at TNA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just yeah two, two generic wrestlers debuted at the boring. Because I, I felt like, I feel bad leaving TNA out. I don't, we, I'm not doing it on purpose. I promise. Um, but the from, almighty Christopher Daniels? Is that what the fuck that said? Oh, I hope so. That's great. I love that. Uh, click. Down. Where did I see that? Yeah. Our wish world champion, almighty Christopher almighty Daniels. Christopher Daniels. Bad God ass. damn, he's not a fallen angel anymore. That's, he's the almighty. That's perfect. I love that. You know what else is perfect? What's that? This ending. Yep. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us again for the Future Heels podcast. You can join us every week on iTunes, on YouTube, on SoundCloud, at our website, FewTrueVillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. That's future. That, that almost sounded like uh, Carmella's theme song. No. Which, have you seen the video of Big Cass singing it? No. I'll bring that up for after the show. Okay. So you can find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm. You can find us on Facebook, uh, Future Villains. Yeah, Future Villains. Uh, you can find all this stuff on the website, though. We're going to have some pictures going up soon. Uh, you can find the, the podcast in video form on YouTube. You can find you on Twitter and Instagram. Yep, Twitter at Bryman25, Instagram, Bryman1138. And I'm going to be streaming uh, quite a bit this week, I think, with Bearded Gaming, also from the Future Villains, uh, on twitch.tv slash realm. You can find Bearded at twitch.tv slash beardedgamingent because I guess he couldn't get entertainment in there. <laughs> I don't know what happened. We're going to be playing Diablo 3. I think we're going to be playing H1Z1. So hopefully we'll see you guys there. Thank you for listening. Let's stop. <laughs>